Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. As many as 20 persons succumbed to COVID-19 on Friday, whether the cumulative death toll in the district has reached to 2,912. On the other hand, 1,009 persons went home after recovery and obtaining permission from the concerned medical authorities. But this is the total number of recovered patients in the district which is now 79,853, including patients who have recovered during home isolation and treatment. The recovery rate of the district has now improved to 88.96%. The total corona positive cases tally of Nagpur district is now at 89,761 with 674 positive cases coming to light in the last 24 hours. While giving a breakup of the death toll, concerned medical officials revealed that out of the total casualties, 517 and 2,052 victims are from the rural and urban areas of the district respectively, while as many as 343 persons are from the outside Nagpur. The Department of Social Justice Government of Maharashtra felicitated the students and their parents from Nagpur district who have been selected for scholarship for studying. This event was held at Urja Atithi Bhavan and was chaired by Dr. Nitin Raut at Nagpur on Friday. While wishing the students for their bright future, he gave advice and expected that these bright youngsters will stay connected, will work for their native country. Education is a lifelong commitment to the development of a nation that enriches social consciousness. Dr. Ambedkar is on such a great example of a person hailing from humble background who reached the Dr. Ambedkar is one such great example of a person hailing from humble background who reached the pinnacle of success through sheer determination. I am certainly proud of your immense perseverance, struggle and hard work and hope that trading on the path of Phule Shah and Ambedkar, these students will work for society upliftment too. Ambadara Lake and Vivekanand Memorial are the places that add to the beauty of Nagpur. However, the debris accumulated due to the Metro Rail Corporation's work during the construction near the site has made both the sites look ugly. Moreover, this debris can be dangerous for the lake. In view of this, Metro and other concerned departments should immediately remove the debris, said Mayor Sandeep Joshi. He inspected the embankment wall near Vivekanand Smarak at Ambadara Lake on Friday. The wall of this embankment is dilapidated. as such care had to be taken to ensure that the embankment is not breached. Despite this, Mahametro dumped the soil left behind during construction. Expressing displeasure over this, he directed the concerned official to remove the debris immediately. Joshi shall also hold a joint meeting of a Metro Irrigation Department NMC next week over this. A committee has been appointed to look into the lease encroachment and lease renewal proceedings of Lakarganj Karbi Bazar, open ground and plot number 115116. This initiative has been taken by advocate Dharampal Meshram, senior official of the Nagpur Municipal Corporation. The online meeting of the Legislative Committee was held on Friday. Karbi Bazar's open ground at Lakarganj and 3,215 square feet of plot number 115 and 29,350 square feet play fit of plot number one. A committee has been appointed to look into the lease encroachment and lease renewal proceedings of Lakadaganj Karbi Bazar open ground and plot number 115 and 116. The initiative has been taken by advocate Dharampal Meshram, senior official of the Nagpur Municipal Corporation. The online meeting of the Legislative Committee was held on Friday 16. Karbi Bazar's open ground at Lakadaganj and 302,015 square feet of plot number 115 and 29,350 square feet of plot number 116 are NMC owned. It was leased in 1992. However, the lease wasn't renewed or it was not done. Encroachment was there. He said that a committee has been appointed to look into the issue of lease and levying fines and penalties and other issues and the committee will investigate and submit a report in this regard shortly. Dr. Pradeep Dasarwar and others were present on the occasion. The RMC here issued warning of thunderstorm with lightning, light to moderate rainfall very likely to occur at isolated places or Nagpur and nearby areas. The department issued a warning of thunderstorm with lightning and light to moderate rainfall very likely to occur at isolated places over Nagpur and nearby areas. The center said a fresh low pressure area is likely to form over the central bay of Bengal around October 19. 
it is likely to become more marked during subsequent few days. But true extends from Bay of Bengal to well marked low pressure area over the Arabian Sea, roughly across coastal AP and Telangana. Under this influence, fairly widespread across Vidarbha thunderstorm with lightning and moderate rainfall are very likely to occur at isolated places over Nagpur, Vardha, Yotmal, Chandrapur, Brahmapuri, Gadchiroli, Bandara and Amravati districts. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBCN News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. The team NBCN wishes all the viewers very happy Navratri.